My name is Rosanna Selta. Everyone knows me as Roxy, indeed. And uh, I am uh, a uh, geneticist. I'm full professor of medical genetics at Humanitas University. Formerly, I was a molecular biologist uh, at University of Milan, where I met uh, for the first time uh, Stefano Duga in uh, 1994. And we had long uh, uh, collaboration and friendship uh, starting from the very first moment we met. And uh, uh, we were growing together, uh, Stefano as a a molecular biology and myself as a, a medical geneticist. Stefano started uh, uh, working uh, on the coagulation cascade uh, from the very beginning of his experience uh, to the Department of uh, uh, Genetics uh, uh, of the University of Milan. And indeed, uh, I have to say, he started with studying the um, transcriptional regulation of the fibrinogen uh, gamma chain gene. That was a sort of beginning because it was uh, uh, the starting point for a long life collaboration together also with Professor Mannucci and Professor Pevandi. At that time, uh, it was around 1998, uh, they were starting to study the molecular basis of uh, uh, co rare coagulation disorders. And they contacted uh, uh, Stefano uh, in order to just start uh, studying the molecular basis of, of a fibrinogenemia. At the time, no mutations were known about uh, this uh, rare coagulation disorder. And Stefano indeed uh, found uh, the first missense variant uh, in the fibrinogenemia beta uh, chain gene. From that moment onwards, uh, Stefano became an expert internationally recognized in the field of afibrinogenemia, uh, factor five deficiency, and even factor 11 deficiency. Uh, in the uh, ISTH world, I guess he was famous uh, for uh, uh, this reason. Of course, as a molecular biologist, indeed, uh, he applied all his knowledge even to the study of other genetic disorders, both Mendelian and uh, complex. In particular, uh, he was uh, applying everything to study the genetic basis also of uh, uh, Parkinson disease in particular. And in the last years of his life, he was really committed even uh, in this new field for him and for us, uh, of cancer genetics, and in particular of prostate cancer genetics. Uh, Stefano was a really, I have to say, fantastic person, uh, a really good friend, I have to say. I shared with him uh, 27 years of life, and on, on me and all the people around him, he had a huge impact. Uh, he was uh, really a lover of nature from every side. Uh, and indeed, for instance, uh, he graduated in uh, veterinary medicine and uh, um, was always fond of everything connected with nature. And of course, science, uh, which is directly connected with nature as well. Uh, he was mentoring me for a long time and uh, uh, we were growing together, I have to say. But he was also fantastic with younger scientists, uh, younger students. Uh, he taught for years uh, molecular biologist, uh, molecular biology, sorry, and uh, and genetics also. And uh, uh, he was really enthusiastic in transmitting all the the good things about science and how we can improve our knowledge on. Uh, molecular mechanism of diseases uh, in order to be of help uh, for people who is sick. And uh, uh, he was uh, so uh, into the, um, the mentoring and helping people in growing in this field that uh, he was teaching at the very last of his life. Uh, I mean, uh, he, he passed away in November and uh, he was uh, doing exams and uh, teaching in the course uh, up to July. 
Stefano was really dedicated to science uh, from uh, every point of view and even in helping people and always uh, so kind and generous, I have to say. And uh, this is something that would like to, uh, that everyone could know about him. Uh, he died of prostate cancer and, uh, but he was uh, uh, really aware of everything he was uh, going through. And uh, he, he was, uh, how can I say, um, he would like to share his experience uh, for helping people. Indeed, one of the last paper he wrote uh, was exactly about uh, his own disease. Uh, he wrote a manuscript entitled, How I Faced My Prostate Cancer. And this was because uh, uh, he had a peculiar story uh, and uh, he wrote the paper uh, under the perspective of a molecular biologist uh, with the hope to help other people with the same disorder, with the same mutation in uh, the BRCA2 gene and uh, uh, to give an example to younger people, especially those uh, um, who are specializing, for instance, in medical genetics and giving counseling uh, to other people. 